session, I will discuss importance of critical thinking skills in data analytics. What is critical thinking? Critical thinking is the process of using reasoning and evidence-based facts to examine assumptions and arguments, including claims. That means you have to be willing and be able to ask questions and identify biases. It also requires finding gaps and challenging conclusions that are not based on facts from a data set. When you approach analytics with critical thinking mindset, you are more likely to avoid errors. You are more likely not to rely on myths and generalizations that can impair the knowledge contained in the data set. I know some people in other professions may have their description, but in analytics, critical thinking requires you to be able to think logically, rationally, and clearly. You are required to be able to make logical connections between data items and between ideas. You should be able to dig deeper into data sets and extract meaningful information. Remember, data is everywhere. And until you can extract those meaningful information, it wouldn't make sense. Digging through data is like digging through a gold mine. When digging for gold, the digger will have to throw several types of dirt layers away before getting anywhere close to the shiny stone. In the same way, you will need to weed out the dirt in the data and clean that part that needs to be cleaned. You should be able to really dive deeper into it to make connection. You know, you need to connect the dots, respond to certain questions, and bring out the value. It is said that critical thinkers are usually systematic and analytical. And critical thinking will give you the ability to be systematic and analytical in problem solving. You're not going to just act on intuition. You're not going to jump to conclusions without facts to support your evidence. Before you make a conclusion about a data set or about a question or a problem, you must have used a systematic process to arrive at your conclusion. And then when you look at the problems, you need to be objective in analyzing the facts required to solve the problem. That means you have to be able to identify a problem. If you don't know the problem, you can ask questions. Remember, you're not supposed to know everything, but you should be able to ask questions. And then from the questions, you'll be able to identify the problem. Oftentimes, when you look at data sets and the questions the organization wants to ask, you will see that there's need to understand why a particular problem exists. Example could be, why are sales falling in a particular region? Why are the accidents on a certain road at a certain junction at a particular point in time? What happens? Why does it happen? And you should be able to look at these questions, request for data that is fit to respond to those questions. Using the right data is a must. You may work in an organization where data is already there, or you may work in a research institution or a research position where you have to go and get the data. But whichever way it works, you should be able to identify the data that is fit for the purpose. You'll be able to organize that data when you know it's fit for the purpose, and then you can develop solutions or potential solutions. Sometimes developing potential solutions will require you to work with certain stakeholders such as uh, customer facing departments because they know the conditions under which the data was generated and probably they met with the customers. Assuming you are working to understand maybe customer churning or something else, critical thinking will enable you to identify biases. Like when you give your prediction, you're not being biased based on personal thing. Make your prediction based on the data you'll be able to make an inference from results of the data set. And then curiosity is one of your key skill. I'll call it the key golden skill. You must be curious because if you're not curious, you can't ask questions. If you're not curious, you don't want to know. You know, you come out with the attitude of, I already know it. 
you will not be able to identify problems. You will not be able to work with relevant stakeholders. You may not even be able to see the trends or the patterns in a data set. If you are not curious, you will not be able to interpret what the trends and patterns you're seeing means. And that is how you can use it to maybe stop a problem or resolve a problem or make an improvement for business profitability. The ability to spot a pattern or trend, ability to be curious and ask questions, and ability to connecting the dots is key to understanding your data. It is highly required and it is one of the things you must do if you have to succeed in analytics. You should be able to think independently. What that means is that you're not going to go with the head. Because somebody else thinks something is that way doesn't mean you have to think that way. Your thinking should be based on facts you derive from the data set. Every other person can be on one side. They may have their reasons. The reasons could be good or bad, but you can still think independently based on what your data is telling you, and you stick to it. That doesn't mean all of your predictions or suggestions will be taken or that it may be correct. No, but at least that's what you believe in. That doesn't mean that you will not listen to other perspectives. You will always listen to perspectives, but at the end of the day, you will have to think through the perspectives, other people's perspectives, think it through, relate it to the data, and make a decision based on facts from the data. Effective communication is a must. You must be able to communicate with stakeholders. You have to learn the best way to communicate with each type of stakeholder. Remember, the way you speak with your friends or write to your friends in social media, it's not the same way you communicate to stakeholders at work. Different stakeholders have their preferred way of communication. It is your responsibility to try to understand how each stakeholder wants to be addressed, wants to be communicated with. You must talk to them, try to understand the problem from their perspective, ask them questions so that they can help you and supply the data you need. If you can't ask the right questions, you may be stuck with wrong predictions or wrong analysis or wrong suggestions or recommendation. I can tell you that your employer will not be happy to pay your bills or your salary if you keep coming up with wrong recommendation that is not based on the facts. In summary, don't let preconceived notions guide your data decisions. Always approach analytics problems with curiosity and fairness. Be open-minded and inquisitive instead of relying on myths or jumping to premature conclusions. Ask open-ended questions and listen actively. Today, I discussed some of the ways critical thinking skills can support a data career.